I'm not saying I love you, but I'm trying to make sure that you know the Bible because you won't be able to lift up your eyes in hell and say you want to know the Bible. I, 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 I dare you to sit here under the gospel and go to hell and you have not one leg to stand on when you get that. I'm going to give you a few days to get everybody to do that. Now, now, when you give them notice, make them aware that the blood is crucial. The blood is essential. And when you know the Bible, let them know from whence the blood must come. Are y'all with me? The blood must come from lambs. They are all need to take a lamb from their flocks. The blood must come from a, from a lamb. Okay? That, that, that's a foreshadow of things to come as it relates to Jesus Christ. That, that he will one day be our sacrificial lamb. He, he was the lamb that was led to the slaughter. God went on to inform Moses to tell him this too. I, I just won't accept blood from just any lamb. I told the word of God in the book. Don't, don't bring me any kind of lamb. It must be blood from a lamb without spot of lynch. Then I want a spotless lamb. I want a blemish list lamb. I, I'll accept blood from that lamb, but spotted lamb can't produce the kind of blood that's going to make a difference. That's why Abraham's blood would work. Abraham was a father of faith, but he was not a spotless lamb. He was spotted by sin, and his blood was tainted by sin. The blood of David couldn't save humanity. He was born after God's own heart, but David was tainted by sin. David was a spotted lamb. All I'm trying to 